It's Sandy Missouri from Balloon Utopia and Market with Balloons. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a cute little zebra. Now, there's a big controversy over whether a zebra is black with white stripes or white with black stripes. However, because I'm filming in a black room and I have a black pen, it is white with black stripes. No matter what it really is. Anyways, to make this zebra, what we need is two 260s. So it's a small zebra. And they're going to be inflated with about, I guess that's probably about a four or five inch tail there. Okay, so we're gonna start with the white one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by making two pinch twists. So to do that, we twist a bubble, and then we kind of take that nozzle and like squish it down and wrap it around like that to make a pinch twist or an ear twist or a bean twist. And then we're gonna make another one. Just like so. This is going to be the horse's mouth. Okay. Now we're gonna grab it about a little handful, just like that. I'd say that's uh, about a four finger spread. And we're gonna make two more pinch twists. One. Two. All right, and now we're gonna grab another four finger spread. And now you gotta hold on to it, control the bubble, while you make, um, it's a little bit bigger than my thumb is the body template I'm using. And then you're going to match that. We're gonna come and do another four finger spread for the body and another set of legs that's the same as this one here. Okay, and now we're going to put the tail through um, just to lock it and we're actually gonna be getting rid of this piece in a little bit. Now, we take our black balloon, and hopefully you can see it. <laughs> I'll hold it against my shirt so that you can see it. We're gonna take the nozzle and, excuse me, wrap it around the ears, okay? Just like this, around the ears, like so. And now we're gonna make four bubbles. So this is the hard thing. You always have to twist in the same direction and twist at least three times. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And now we're going to twist this around the neck. So what I do is I normally I'll just hold it. You see how I'm holding it with my hand kind of um, on the legs and on the body? And then I'm going to grab both the uh, bubbles and the neck at the same time and just twist them around like that. Now I'm going to do that same thing of four bubbles one more time. One. Two, three, four. I declare a thumb work. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, and the same thing. Now I'm just gonna kind of wrap it into the ears and the head, just like so. And I know it's hard to see because in order to grab it, I'm kind of covering parts of it. So, um, good luck. <laughs> okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to twist this set of four, um, like I'm gonna kind of hold it together and then kind of just twist this set of four right here to close them off, just like this, okay? And we'll manicure it and make sure that everything's sitting the way it should later. And now I'm gonna bring this black balloon back down and I'm going to make another series of four bubbles. One, two, three, and four. And once again, I'm going to grab the head, grab the legs, grab the body, and twist. Now this time though, I'm also going to bring it around and through the legs, gently. Just like, okay, just like so. And that kind of locks it. Okay, the reason that I want to make sure that I'm locking it, and I'm going to twist around a couple more times, is because now I'm going to get rid of this piece. And I'm going to let some air out because I've got a little bit more air than I need in there now. So I have a little empty space there, a little reservoir, a little tail. And I'm gonna put two pinch twists into this balloon. So um, pinch twists take a little bit of practice. Don't get frustrated if you're just starting out. Just, uh, just keep practicing. So one. And two. Just like this. And now I'm going to the same like I did with the head, I'm basically going to hold the two tails together and um, twist the legs and the pinch twist at the same time. And then I'm gonna put them through. 
Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of this piece um, because I want the tail to be black, not white. I actually have scissors there. I probably should use them. <laughs> My dentist is gonna be like, what are you doing? Anyways, and then just kind of sew that around to make sure it's nice and tight. And then we're going to, so these, little, these two little pinch twists, the reason for them is to stabilize it so that it, um, it doesn't kind of all collapse on itself. And then we're gonna kind of do a little S twist. So you kind of make an S or a backwards S and then just kind of gently move the air back and forth. And so that kind of gives the, the tail a little bit of shape. I lost my pinch twist, so I'm just gonna quickly stick a new one in there. Sometimes that happens. Especially when you're on camera and you're trying to hurry and things can go wrong, they do. Okay, so at this point we have a horse, of course. <laughs> so in order to turn it into a zebra, we have our pen. So to start with, we're gonna make some cute little eyes. And all of my eyes look like that because it's the only kind of eye I know how to draw. Okay, and now we wanna put our stripes on. So here's the thing. You know, Sharpie's messy, it gets on your hands and stuff, so you don't wanna overdo it. So basically what I try to do is I'll put essentially three slashes on each side, right? So I just kinda do it like this, and I'm doing it backwards for myself. Usually I'm facing myself when I'm doing it, so it may not come out exactly perfect, but basically just boop, boop, like boop, 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 like kinda like that. And it did not come out the way that it would've. I'm gonna do this one facing me. Okay, so like three or four. I mean, really what we want is the suggestion of the stripes. We don't need to like go crazy, you know, striping it up all over the place um, because then you're using a lot of ink and the chance of you getting ink all over your hand is pretty high. So, all right, maybe five slashes, whatever. All right, well, maybe don't make an X, but <laughs> nature is not perfect. So anyways, there we go for all those zebra lovers. A cute little twisted zebra for your jungle parties. Just like that. So if you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Just click that subscribe button. Tell all your friends to subscribe. Make sure that you like the video. And also leave me a comment. What else do you wanna know? What else do you wanna learn? I'm making two videos a week. That's a lot. So I wanna hear from you what you want. And also remember to go over to Amazon and buy my book and contribute to my Patreon. Okay, commercial over. But seriously, have fun with this. I hope you enjoy it. I can't wait to see your pictures. Please share with me. And until next time, go forth and balloonify.